all right today we'll implement the concept of dynamic data masking which is we can available in azure sql database so we'll create the architecture diagram straight from the scratch that is even if you don't have any experience or have just signed into the azure portal do not worry i'll guide you step by step just like a beginner right so let's begin with the tutorial so let's first start by creating one azure sql server and the database so i have already signed into the azure portal so it should look something like this if you have recently used sql database should appear here otherwise you can also search here sql database so it should appear here so either way it should work so once we are done we can next click on create sql database this button so let's proceed with uh, creating one database so since our resources will reside one resource group we need to select one resource group then we need to enter one database name let's mentioned it cloud guru amit db this looks good next since there are no servers we need to create one servers from this scratch because a database will reside inside a server right so let's create click on create new let's give a server name cloud guru amit server it should be somewhat unique otherwise um, you won't get the uh, green verified mark all looks good we got the green verified marks looks good uh, now uh, we can uh, select uh, use both intra only authentication or sql server only so this uh, looks good to us but if you still say see here set microsoft intra admin we need to set an admin as well so we can use both sql and microsoft intra authentication intra was previously known as azure ad so let's create one credential like we can create a credential like admin dba then give one password though this won't be required for our case here but uh, still i'm uh, creating the uh, one um, so that we can uh, use both sql and this since it is a star mark we need to select an admin and admin will be our username so let's select uh, the admin and make our user as the admin all right after we are done with the selecting the admin click on ok looks good to us then uh, we have the networking tab we can configure here as well or in the next step as well right so let's select uh, some of the basic parts as well before proceeding uh, like we don't need a production we need development next we need to select the uh, storage let's uh, select uh, maybe we can go for a basic for less demanding workloads this looks good we can also go for any other depending upon the size or the service tier which we want right so let's go for basic for now select apply uh, for redundancy i have created locally redundant uh, this also uh, looks good next we have the uh, networking tab so here we need to enable public endpoint otherwise we won't be able to use the sql console uh, from the portal so we need to uh, select uh, yes there is also a hard way but i'm doing the easy way because the tutorial is more about the dynamic data masking and not about uh, like um, the uh, these things so allow uh, let's select on uh, uh, yes yes uh, let's uh, go down this looks good to me let's proceed uh, everything looks uh, good to me we can now uh, click on uh, review and create let's click on the uh, create button all right our deployment is in progress it takes around five minutes uh, to get completed so till then i can uh, walk you through the uh, commands for dynamic data masking what we are doing so that um, later when the server is ready or the database is ready we can directly fire it right so first we need to create one schema because our uh, tables will reside once inside one schema right so uh, we'll create one schema named data and then we need to uh, create one table we'll create a uh, name it as cloud guru amit the uh, table name we have the uh, ddl ready for it next inside the table cloud guru amit will insert some dummy values where we have let's say some uh, pi data like email and these things and so uh, that is our motive basically to mask these things right sensitive or pi information like birth date and all these so next there's a one demonstration for service table as well like we'll create a different schema for service table which is named as service there again we'll be doing the same thing that is uh, basically creating one as table then inserting some dummy values in it just like uh, the previous step cloud guru amit table right and uh, next uh, we will create different users so here lies the magic dynamic data masking we know like let's say 
user one is able to see the entire email but for user two it might be only maybe just cloudguruamit.com or the last step.com we can use regex or anything to tailor as per our requirement right so we are uh, will be creating uh, different users to test the functionality of it then we'll be uh, granting the rules for uh, different users which we have created in the previous step next uh, we need to like uh, give the unmask command so like which users will have relief on the pi data like who can basically see the uh, data right that was some uh, like we need to apply next we need to change the user after we are done with the applying uh, these policies and all then we'll execute become different user right execute user as and check what service attendant for this one is able to see the data from cloud guru amit table then feedback table right so we'll be doing some experimentation for different users which we have created like four users we have created right and after we are done we can also unmask or um, uh, like uh, revoke the masking part as well so we have the syntax for it as well so i hope you got the all the commands now ready so we are uh, done with the deployment is complete so let's go to the resource that is our uh, basically this is our database so we have here the query editor let's uh, go to the query editor so let's uh, log in right we have the sql server authentication but as mentioned like it was optional we can use both microsoft entra and sql server so let's begin with the commands now let's create one schema first let's paste it yeah allow let's run success right we'll uh, create different query for different tabs basically let's fire this command now let's run it so this will basically create one uh, table named cloud guru amit so let's expand and check yeah we got under the uh, data is our schema and cloud guru amit is our table name so schema dot table name right so that is uh, what it uh, goes basically next we have uh, need to insert some uh, values into it that is the table and next let's open a new tab paste it and run it so technically now if we run one a select star on this table so this value should basically be displayed now so let's uh, select top 10 rows let's i've done uh, top 10 uh, definitely there are not thousand values the, their uh, rows but yeah uh, we can see the uh, values but please note now the uh, values these are, are not currently masked and all right so after masking uh, putting the commands it should be, be definitely be masked so we'll be creating a different service uh, as well let's paste it run it and uh, repeat these steps like create another table for it new query let's paste it run it let's insert some dummy values into this table just like the previous step let's paste it the values got inserted so uh, next step like we are creating different users right now let's go ahead creating these users let's paste it run it success now we need to grant read permissions at least for the users so that they can uh, use select star and uh, all these things right let's click on new query paste it yeah it's success now let's uh, this is the uh, like main thing like granting the unmask thing so here goes our uh, like basically the logic part as well like who can see uh, what right so please do not miss this step otherwise you might not be able to see the masking and all so now uh, we are almost done so we'll become uh, one user let's say service attendant this was uh, created by us in our previous step if you look if you go up right create user service attendant so this is one of the users which we have created so let's um try to query like what the service attendant can check let's go back create new query so now basically it, it will become interesting let's execute this so if you check now the magic of uh, dynamic data masking you'll be able to experience if you check the service attendant cannot see the values of email phone numbers are also masked right and date of birth is giving the default values if you check like 1900 and something interesting right so let's check what service attendant can do or see on the service feedback as well so here a service attendant can see the entire thing so let me uh, for this reference let's um, focus on only one table let's say cloud guru amit and check what different users can see because um, if i mix two tables together it can be like difficult to understand what the data masking concept uh, i'm using now i'm becoming service lead to check uh, what the service lead can see 
so service lead can see if you check the email looks intact if you look email can they can view date of birth also can uh, birthday can also view but phone number if you look it's um, like uh, also i think uh, uh, service lead can check so let's um, open new query and check what other users can uh, see like the service manager and all let's copy it and let's see the magic what this user can see let's execute this command so if we uh, look the uh, service manager here and uh, compare with the service lead they can see uh, the values of phone number email uh, date of uh, birth these were the uh, pi information let's open the last query that is a service head this is uh, like one of the uh, topmost position or the managerial position so technically i believe the service head can see everything let's execute it so if you look yes yeah, service head can also see right everything if we compare almost uh, same data as uh, uh, they can view only for service attendant if you look the masking policies are uh, applied here the phone number email and birthday are masked so the concept of data masking uh, let me put in a nutshell it's something like the same query if you look i'm running right here and here only difference is between the users here service lead can check everything but service attendant if you look cannot see the pi information what is masked so that is known as dynamic data masking but different users can view different things so uh, there is also one concept of dynamic data masking this is one hidden concept if you look under security here dynamic data masking uh, let's click on ok and remove all this because uh, the concept is clear so if we apply or uh, check here we have all these columns where the masking uh, what uh, things are done if we open edit masking rule we'll find padding string expose suffix so these options are there for us next we can also uh, design or add mask by uh, using add mask we need to select schema which schema we need to select then the table name then the column name right let's see the last name what you want to there are also some uh, like masking field format for default values like credit card debit card email these things we can do and custom prefix padding we can also do so this is one of the option if you don't uh, if you're not comfortable uh, very much with the uh, sql command just like uh, what i have done here you can also uh, use the interface for uh, portal and make a use of this so let's go back to the architecture diagram and uh, brush up what we have done so we have successfully created sql server database inside it and then we have uh, basically created some schema uh, there then the tables put some dummy values created some users then uh, we have uh, applied some masking policies who can see what and uh, finally we have um, checked or queried the data uh, in the portal like the uh, different users are showing different things right so i hope uh, you found this tutorial helpful so thank you so much for watching this video